Hey guys, uh, just a reminder uh, that tomorrow is March 8th, 2022, a uh, date I had talked about a couple months ago in a past video. I couldn't, can't remember exactly which one right this second, but just want to do a little refresher on why tomorrow's date is so special and how it's connected to the uh, golden ratio or Fibonacci numbers. And... Of course, talking about 9-11, um, talking about the date 9-11, if we write it down, 9-11 uh, kind of looks like a division problem, 9 divided by 11. Um, but the connection to the golden ratio or the Fibonacci numbers is the ninth Fibonacci number is 34, and the 11th Fibonacci number is 89. So if we divide the 9th by the 11th Fibonacci number, 34 divided by 89, it comes out to 0 0.382022 4719. And what's significant about the 4719 on the end of this uh, 38 2022 on here is that it's also actually The Chinese water or uh, water tiger year and Chinese year forty seven nineteen. So that's tomorrow, March eighth, and I'm not saying anything bad's going to happen. I'm just saying um, it's an interesting day because it connects to the Fibonacci uh, golden ratio sequence there, and um, it matches up perfectly when you do the do the math on a calculator, especially on your phone. I I talked earlier to Bobby and had him do the math, and on your phone, um, it comes out to the exact number here uh, when you do it on the calculator. Of course, with more decimal points, it'll add more. But So there's a significant connection to 9-11 and tomorrow, March 8th, 2022, and the golden ratio. And just to give you a preview of what I'm covering, hopefully in the coming week, um, it's been a while since I did a video, but uh, I'm going to do this on the Super Bowl. And a, a major part of this Super Bowl uh, was having The Rock introduce uh, Super Bowl 56. And it all connects back to a ritual with him where he tore the gate um, off of his house. And that... That was on 9-18-2020 when he couldn't get out of his house, so he tore the gate off gate off his driveway uh, with his bare hands. And that was on 9-18-2020. And if you take a 9-18 and you flip it over, it's a 6-18, which is the golden ratio. And this ritual here where he tore the gate off his driveway, uh, that connects to... Matthew 16, 18, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So that verse in Matthew 16, 18, remember 6, 1.618 and 0.618, both references to the golden ratio, and the rock, this, this ritual with the rock, uh, was a reference to that verse in Matthew, and it also connects to the Super Bowl. The Rock, uh, the day the day of the Super Bowl was nine months, eleven days after the Rock turned forty nine, so nine month nine months, eleven days after his birthday. And then, of course, when you think about nine eleven, we have Osama bin Laden, of course, and I'm going to make this connection to eight eleven. Uh, that's what my channel is all about, Revelation 8.11, the Wormwood Star, the Falling Wormwood Star. But when you're talking about 9.11, the Golden Ratio, and the um, Osama bin Laden became the first general emir of Al-Qaeda on 8.11, 1988. Then um, he was killed on May 2nd, 2011. That's actually The Rock's birthday is May 2nd. He was born May 2nd, 1972. 
and Osama destroyed the twins. And then they put up one single 1776 foot tower in place of the twin towers. Now, that's also connected to the Super Bowl, but real quick here um, Osama is an anagram of Samoa, and I've talked about American Samoa before. Uh, the only United States territory where if you're born in American Samoa, you're not a U.S. citizen. You're only a U.S. national. And we'll get more into that. But Osama is an anagram of Samoa. Dwayne Johnson. If we look on his Wikipedia page here, it shows family, the Anoyi family. Originating from American Samoa is a family of professional wrestlers, so he has a connection to Samoa. Samoa is a anagram of Osama, and then he hosted the or introduced the Super Bowl nine months, eleven days after his birthday. He shares that anniversary date with Osama bin Laden, and then connection to Matthew sixteen eighteen. And then I'm going to show you the date here. Tomorrow, 3-8. If you go from 3-8 to 8-11, 2022, it's 156 days. Of course, the 156th prime number is 9-11. But there's a massive ritual that started back with The Rock on 9-18-2020 when he tore the gate off his driveway connects to the Super Bowl and it also connects to 8-11-2022 and another astronomical alignment coming up here in May. May is another big month on the Martian calendar or Mars calendar, the Darien calendar they call it. Uh, the 11 year anniversary of 9-11 on the Martian calendar is May 20th. This happens to be the 456th day on the Mars calendar. And I know there's a lot of other, a lot of other people have been talking about this. 456 is a significant um, number, and um, so 11-year anniversary of 9/11 on the Martian calendar coming up on May 20th, and all these connections with the Rock. Like I said I'll cover this. This this whole video has, or the Rock is going to be dedicated a whole video to him, uh, just on this golden ratio and this astronomical. Ritual that kind of comes to completion in May here, and he's connected to 811. And we'll get more into the Ukraine's uh, symbolism too. I'll have to make that separate. Uh, but also, when we're talking about um, American Samoa here, showed you guys this. Of course, the 1776, the Independence the Declaration of Independence is from 1776 when the United States was founded. And we'll be taking a look at a couple Super Bowl commercials. There was a Super Bowl commercial for Click Up, where they're talking about the Declaration of Independence. And then another Super Bowl commercial that I'm going to go through. Um, I'll go through this. This is about, this whole commercial is about the guff, which I've briefly talked about before. Uh, but there's a cat in this video. And it's one of these weird looking cats with the big ears. Well, this has a reference to the uh, Chinese zodiac. The rabbit. Uh, in the Vietnamese zodiac and the Gurung zodiac, the cat takes the place of the rabbit. And that's why they have this rabbit here. Because I've showed you this before, but the street address of one world trade center that's 1776 feet is 285 fulton street and millennium lunation 285 is the last day of the tiger year on january 21st 2023 then january 22nd will be the first day of the rabbit year or the cat year in the alternate vietnamese or guru zodiac where the cat and the rabbit are um, interchanged but just want to show you guys real quick. There's going to be I'm going to do a video about the Rock and his connection. Then I'll have to do a separate video about the Super Bowl, a couple of Super Bowl commercials here, Declaration of Independence, and the cat slash rabbit symbolism with the guff. 
and then uh, the halftime show um, the halftime show here with uh, Dr. Dre uh, and Eminem both significant they didn't play these songs uh, NWA express yourself and um, of course we'll, we'll I'll get I'll get into this later but uh, this the Super Bowl was just massive in symbolism this year and I've covered some of it but we're gonna we're gonna get more into it but just want to give you a, a quick preview of what I'm gonna cover and just want to have a little more time later this week we'll do the rock and the golden ratio okay thanks guys <laughs>